YouTube, what is going on guys? It is your boy Zay, back with a brand new video. Today guys, I'll be showing you how to do every mini Easter egg on Liberty Falls map on Black Ops 6. Starting with the very first one that not many people know much about, but at the beginning of the map, when you first spawn in, if you actually come down here right underneath the stairs, there's a vending machine here, in which you can punch the bottom right corner of this machine and it will drop different items at random of different varieties. Not only that, but if you take this perk, melee machado not sure if i'm pronouncing that correctly but if you come back and punch it in the same exact spot you actually get to break the machine allowing multiple drops at one time to come out but this will be the last time you'll be able to use it in this session until you start a new session the next easter egg after this is actually pretty close to spawn as well so if you actually come right from spawn and go right to the right you go ahead and open this fence right here and as you press on forward you know make sure you have save a zombie or save a few zombies because you're actually gonna need zombies for this little easter egg but if you press on forward right here to where this mystery box at you're gonna see some binoculars if you look through these binoculars and look on the mountain if you look all the way to the right and at the very top you're going to find what seems to be a random zombie sitting on the top of this mountain. Now, if you stay there and hold this binoculars on the zombie for a minute, it's going to take you out of it. And you're going to go over to the left and I'll do the same thing with the next one. Make your binoculars point directly at the zombies at the top of the cliff. And once it is locked on, it's going to hold on and a reaction is going to happen, as you can see right here. Boom, there it is. And now once you come on out, watch what happens to all the zombies. All the zombies are going to gather. And they're going to form on top of this bus right here in the center of your area. And they're going to have a dance party. Little fun little Easter egg that you guys can enjoy. Show it to your friends. And you guys just have fun. Think about it though. These guys only last for a few few seconds. Probably want to say 40 to 30 seconds. They'll last. And they'll all jump up. All the zombies will jump over. The more zombies you have in the lobby at the time, the more zombies they'll gather. And the more zombies that will have and enjoy in this dance party. Now, you do have a little bit of time before they start becoming more active back in aggro towards you so enjoy this while you can do what you can you know what i'm saying open the box that's behind you if it's available you know get some perks real quick because once they are done dancing they will go back to attacking you all right so like i said enjoy it for the moment and yeah back to business the next easter egg we have after that one is if you actually come right here under the stairs and run up through the bowling alley and just continue forward until you get to the church so you're gonna go up these stairs and pretty much make your way up to the church once you get to the front of the church, if you look all the way up to the top of the church and aim in, you will see a skull sitting on top of the church. All you have to do is hold a nade, throw a nade, explode a nade right there. Make sure you hit that skeleton and you have the Easter egg to unlock, which is the dropping flying zombies. Now with these zombies dropping, they drop mainly kill streaks, uh, possibly even one time a perk. They drop keys for the vault and they also drop other items such as money in essence all right guys so another little easter egg you guys can do to help you all you know advance in the game you know what i'm saying it's really easy really simple you can knock it out and then get you some free some free gear some free loot all right simple as that the next easter egg that's going to start right here back in the spawn if you go underneath the gas station and look into this zombie spawner right here you're going to see a pair of shoes sit on top of this counter shoot those pair of shoes right and advance over to the next location this pretty much is going to how you unlock the bowling Easter egg. So you're going to advance over to here to the right from the spawn to where you find this next location. It is another zombie spawner. You will actually look into the zombie spawner and on the right, right here, you will see a pair of shoes, shoot the shoes and move on to the next location. Now the next location is actually, if you actually follow right behind past the comic book store and make your way up these stairs right here through this fence, make your way up right here past the flower shop right here to this white house. You're going to look into this zombie spawn area as well and look to your very right underneath this chair you're going to see the next pair of shoes take those out then you're going to make your way outside of the bank and straight to this white building right here where you'll look into this zombie spawner as well you're going to look to your left and on the top of a shelf you're going to see the next pair of shoes where you will shoot them and destroy them and lastly you're going to make your way over here to this graveyard and go straight to the very back of the graveyard to the very back where you will see the zombie spawner exit and on the back on these shoes hanging right here you will shoot them and then something will happen where you will get teleported to the bowling alley and reveal the bowling alley easter egg now in this easter egg if you come in here you will want to be pretty much prompted to play a game of bowling now if you do this easter egg with friends uh who pretty much basically whoever gets the highest score with the bowling uh you do the bowling by shooting these zombies well roll the ball and knocking out the zombies as the zombies being like 
pins whoever gets the highest score will receive the highest trophy and the highest trophy will receive the highest rarity of items this next this next easter egg is pretty fun to use in the game so what you're first going to need before you could do this next easter egg is actually the jet weapon so first off how you make this jet weapon well first thing you're going to do is come over here to the flower shop and grab this well nozzle right here this water nozzle grab it and take it over to the bowling alley once you have this nozzle you're going to go over to the bowling alley now once you're in the bowling alley you're going to go all the way over here to the right you're going to knock out this cover and you're going to hold x on this valve now mind you when you hold x on this valve a wave of zombies will start to spawn so you have to be careful okay a whole lot of zombies will spawn so how you play this is uh, it's a very smart play you have to do if you play this the wrong way meaning you let go of the valve for too long and uh pretty much let go of the valve you can go away you can break away from the valve for a period of time but once you break away for too long the valve will actually start to drain back down to zero now if you train away from it for too long and without clicking it and resetting it to make it go up increasing in the valve on that bar to the left it will eventually run out and you have to start this part over so how i suggest that you do it is get a concussion grenade or a monkey bomb or some type of decoy grenade to hinder the zombies and make them stay away from you or to distract them okay so by having a concussion grenade or having a monkey this will distract them long enough for you to hold this or even so doing this part of the easter egg at a lower level to attract lesser zombies all right but pretty much you want to stand there hold this valve until it reaches max potential once it reaches cap capacity you will see that it actually will end up blowing up all the zombies that are left over and of course they will all be destroyed and if you look on the floor where the front that valve was at you will see a water pressure gauge now after you have done with this you have to actually acquire a mangler cannon now there's two ways to acquire this cannon you can either craft it at the crafting bench or you can wait to around 11 when the first mangler spawns in and simply by shooting at his arm multiple times until he dies he will then drop the mangler cannon for you to pick up simple as that the next thing you need to do is run down back to the spawn and come over here over to where the binoculars is at and his bus is at and make your way over back here to the radio house blast open this radio house with your cannon and on the floor you will find dig up spots dig in all of these spots on the floor until you find the part for the jet gun lastly to get the final piece of the jet gun you're going to make your way all the way back here past the garden shop all the way to the graveyard and in the graveyard you're pretty much going to stay in the graveyard and do a train of zombies and the reason for this is because you're looking for one specific zombie in particular which is going to be the groundskeeper and now the groundskeeper looks a lot different from the average regular zombies or the armor zombies he has a hat a little sombrero hat on his head so pretty much you want to come over here and train up as many zombies as you can until he spawns once he spawns all you have to do is take him down once you take him down he's going to drop the shed key once you have this shed key come over here to the left past his white house and to the back where the shed is at open this door and get this part right here on the table it is going to be the handbrake once you have this handbrake break your way over to the graveyard hop on this zip line right here and come across to the top of the bank then you're going to come across this zip line right here and come across it back over to the spawn once you made it back to spawn you're gonna come down right here to these little apartments you're gonna go all the way up to the very top of these stairs come over to the right and then make a left where you will see a door pop open with some zombies all you have to do is take out these zombies once you take out these zombies come back around and go into that room once you made your way into this room you will see the jet gun is right here on the table for crafting you will craft it and now you will currently have the jet gun there it is on your screen right there once you have your jet gun, you'll come over to the side of the motel and right here at the top of the motel, you see a little doll. Now with this doll, you will take and hold RT to suck this doll up into the jet gun. Once you get it, it'll suck right into the jet gun and you will have that first piece. The next doll is if you make your way over to past the flower shop and you see right here at the top of that window, you come up top of this roof right here and pull out your jet gun and look straight across to that window and just hold RT and you will pretty much suck the next doll into the gun. After that, if you make your way back to that same exact rooftop and take this zip line straight across to the top of the bank, 
then you come across here and break this wood that's here hop down and pull out your gun and you will see right across where that vent is at is where the next piece will be go ahead and hold rt and suck that doll in the next doll is actually right here if you come out of the bowling alley and make your way up to this patch of grass on the left hop onto the top of this bus and in front of the liberty lanes sign you will see it right here on the top and you all you have to do is hold rt and take that doll and lastly if you come up to the church right here top of church this front window same last one is sitting right there suck that doll in and you will have a beautiful fun surprise what if you but do it during the round the next easter egg i'm going to be showing you for is so you can unlock the classic treyarch zombies music okay guys so come over here into the church you're going to see a pair of headphones right here on this seat go ahead and hold x or square onto that headphones the next headphones location is going to be right here after spawn come past the hotel or right up these stairs to the right you're going to see a pair of headphones oh and fyi make sure your audio music volume is up on both of these settings for gameplay volume and cinematic volume so you can be able to hear the music when it comes on anyways you're going to make your way down past the graveyard over here to where the bank entrance is at you're going to come past this bus right here on the left and straight ahead right here with his benches at underneath you'll see another pair of headphones hold x or hold square then you will hear your music come on and start playing let me know what you guys think about this new soundtrack in the comments down below and last but not least the final easter egg if you come over to the comic book section right here look behind this table you're going to see a sticky note with a number in the direction of the sticky note now based on where the number is located on the sticky note would tell you the exact order of how this sticky note is supposed to go this is going to allow you to unlock the vaults in the bank be mindful that these numbers change every game session so do not try to copy the same code from my gameplay here and also every time you come to a new game and start a new game do not expect the numbers to be the exact same Anyways, make your overweight back over to the bank and over by the bank you'll see on the table here you're going to see another sticky note with another number and it's going to be at the very start meaning this is a number that goes first. Then we're going to make our way over to the bowling alley and in this bowling alley you're going to come up to this counter, shoot this glass and underneath that glass you're going to see another sticky note with the very last number. Now we're going to take the code and come over to the vault in the bank, enter that simple code and once you get into the code and unlock the vault, the vault is going to open up for you to enter. And pretty much once you get inside, if you do not have any loot keys or. Then you will not be able to pretty much access any of the loot. Most of the time, the loot that spawns in here is going to be based on the key that you come into the vault with. And mind you, there is a limited time that you can be in the vault. You can either click out to exit or wait for the timer to expire. Once the time expires, it'll automatically put you out of the vault. But luckily, since you already have it unlocked with the code, you can always come back to the vault with a new key and find another loot that you want from inside the vault. That is going to do it, guys, for these mini Easter eggs on Liberty Falls of Black Ops 6. Let me know what you think about these mini Easter eggs and the overall main Easter egg in Liberty Falls in the comments down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe channel if you are new it has been your boy zay i'm out here y'all peace out